Hello and welcome. You're watching The Daily Report for Monday, August 24th, 2009. The most prominent news of the day is the soaring start on Wall Street. The Dow Jones, NASDAQ, and S&P were each trading significantly higher in their first few hours of trading. When the markets closed at 4 p.m. on Friday, August 21st, the Dow and NASDAQ were up roughly 1.6 percent, and the S&P was up nearly 1.9 percent. As a result, stocks are now at new 2009 highs, their highest point in 10 months, and, and are set for another surge today. With financials on the rise, many economists are now saying that the United States is out of recession. However, these same economists are also making clear their concerns about a W-shaped recession model. Economyincrisis.org highlighted the so-called double-dip recession months ago. Now the rest of the financial community is stressing over it. In a W-shaped or double-dip recession, the economy declines and then recovers before declining again and then recovering later in the future. Wall Street is boasting its own gains, but the scene in the rest of the economy seems to be a harbinger of things to come. Oil futures are trading again at nearly $74 per barrel, another 10-month high, and increased fuel prices will make all consumer commodities more expensive. The rise in oil will likely not be as bad as it was in 2008, but it will dampen the economic outlook for most Americans. The Cash for Clunkers program is also set to expire today at 4 p.m., taking with it the little uptick it created in the consumer economy. In other news, Richard Bove, a banking analyst with Rochdale Securities, believes that we will see an additional 150 to 200 bank closings by the end of 2010. This will put a huge strain on the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation and on every private bank which pays membership fees to keep the FDIC afloat. The FDIC has already seen an astounding 80 bank failures in 2009. If Bove's predictions prove even modestly accurate, this rate of closings and the amount of assets involved will far exceed anything in American history. Finally, with the American economy still in a serious hole, regardless of what the markets seem to be telling us, competition around the world is scooping up assets at bargain prices. General Motors, in its effort to fight off bankruptcy, is in talks with government officials in Germany regarding the sale of its once profitable Opel line. Also, Irish pharmaceutical company Warner Chilcott stated today that it intends to purchase Procter & Gamble's drug business for $3.1 billion. American companies are fighting for survival in this gutted economy. And as global economies begin to erase their own recessions, we should expect to see an increasingly uphill battle. On behalf of Concerned Citizens, I'm Craig Harrington. For more related news, tune in every day at economyincrisis.org. to become of us. Why are we oblivious, spiraling down and out of control? Better start yelling out, America is selling out factories, industries, heart and soul.